Hey guys, Primate Elisha Ayodele, the leader of Ari Evangelical Spiritual Church, issued a stem caution to President Bola Tinubu on Thursday, advising him against hidden cancel that might foster terrorism in Nigeria. Ayodele urged Tinubu to squarely confront the issue of insecurity to prevent any negative impact on his administration. Hello guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. Share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening in the Nigerian political landscape. Primates Ayodele fires fresh warning, blasts Buhari's as minister. Why did he do this? The the leader of Irish Evangelical Spiritual Church issued a stem caution to President Bola Tinubu on Thursday, advising him against hidden counsel to that might foster terrorism in Nigeria. Ayodele urged Tinubu to squarely confront the issue of insecurity to prevent any negative impact on its administration. He delivered this caution while criticizing the former Minister of Communication, Adeboe Shotsu, for advocating government negotiations and rehabilitation of terrorists. Shotsu had remarked that the terrorist processes possesses potential and advocated for their retraining instead of the Kenet approaches currently employed. In response, Ayodele rebuffed the ex-minister's stance, asserting that terrorism holds no promise as it has only uh, wrought this destruction upon the nation. In its statement signed by his media aide, Ayodele emphasized the need to honor the sacrifice of fallen soldiers and innocent civilians by ensuring their death were not in vain. He stated, there is no prospects in terrorism. Terrorists are destroying the country. And kidnapping people, they are enemies of this country and they should be treated in a such manner. They have killed soldiers and citizens. What will be the gain of those who died if the government decided to rehabilitate those that wiped them off from the earth's surface. President Tinubu must be careful not to listen to wrong advice that will encourage terrorism in the country. The death of our heroes must not be in vain and insecurity must be faced with force. Ayodele further advised President Tinubu to probe anyone advocating for terrorists, considering the havoc they have wreaked upon the nation. He deemed the suggestion of rehabilitating them as inhuman, highlighting the numerous victims of their terrorism acts. If President Tinubu does not take security seriously, it will affect his government negatively. There will be development and economic prosperity. Anyone that supports or speaks in favor of terrorists should be questioned. These people have abused kills. They stole stolen homes from people. They stop people from living by destroying their, their means of livelihood. And you want them to be rehabilitated because of the prospects they have. That is too human, he concluded. If you if you listen carefully to what he says, don't you think he's making sense? I'm asking. Because how can you be treating people, giving these people honor who have killed Nigerians, who have made life horrible for Nigerians? I don't they ask this question, Tete. They go say they won't rehabilitate bandits or Boko Haram, whatever they are being called. 
you give them scholarship rights, you give them good life, you feed them, you give them homes to live. These are the same people who have destroyed people's homes. And those people who, are, who they have de destroyed their homes have no place to live currently. But because you want them to seek fire, you give them home. Those people who had home does no longer have a home to live. Are we talking about those who they have made orphans? They don't have father, they don't have mother to take good care of them, to take care of them. But the government are taking care of those people who made uh, life to be like that for them. The widows, the widowers, the fatherless, the motherless. If you want to do this, now they're advocating this, this and that, and that for bandits. What of Nigerians they have made this life horrible for? Our Nigerian soldiers they have killed countless Nigerian soldiers, Nigerian police, like that. They don't destroy homes. Billions of you know money have gone. People's businesses and all that. And we are advocating good life for them. Anyway, Nigerian government, just like what Bishop uh, uh, Kuka said, if Nigerian, Nigerian government seems to know what is going on, because if they want to stop terrorism in Nigeria, they know how to go about it. They know what they are doing. It's, it's very, very unfortunate. So guys, what's your take on this? Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. I beg, share this video. Let it go viral. Subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you for not stopping by.